Broadcast Center in Los Angeles. This is KCAL 9 News at 8. Tonight at 8 o'clock as fans count down to Super Bowl 56 and the Rams work on game day plays. Local and federal agencies team it up tonight to take on public safety. The AFC champion Cincinnati Bengals are in L.A. tonight as they get ready for Super Bowl Sunday at SoFi Stadium against the Rams. If it looks too good to be true, it usually is. Yeah, those Super Bowl tickets, super expensive, of course, so a warning tonight to be on the lookout for cheap seats scams. Welcome to KCAL 9 News at 8 o'clock, streaming live on CBS News Los Angeles. I'm Jeff Vaughn. Hi, everyone. I'm Susie Sa. The feds added to the defensive line at the Super Bowl now, joining local law enforcement to keep everyone safe at the big game. That's right. Officials outlined security efforts to KCAL 9's Rachel Kim today. U.S. Homeland Security officials said today that there is no known specific credible threat against the Super Bowl or any events leading up to the Super Bowl, like the NFL experience here at the L.A. Convention Center. Authorities said over the past two years, over 40 law enforcement agencies have planned and come up with a security plan to make sure the Super Bowl is a memorable and safe experience. We saw hundreds of officers. We saw a number, a number of resources that the public did not see that were providing a seamless experience. We intend to continue that process. The NFL experience kicked off this past weekend at the LA Convention Center with record crowds and no public safety issues. Today, local and federal law enforcement authorities and the NFL teamed up to let the community know that they're out in full force and prepared to respond to any threats at Super Bowl related events this week and during the big game on Sunday day at SoFi Stadium. What you will see is hundreds of officers deployed on game day and this week to secure the campus and it will be a layered effect of security that will come through all the way to, to get to the gate. We also are ensuring the safety of land, sea, air, and the cyber environments. Federal and local authorities say they will also combat human trafficking and the trafficking of stolen and counterfeit merchandise around SoFi Stadium, where people from near and far will be gathering. The ATF brought in canines from all over the country, and we're making sure that this is the most safe city in the United States for this week and through the Super Bowl. They detect explosives, and that also includes firearms, ammunition, not just the ex typical explosives that you may think of. But we also need the public's vigilance. And that's why we say, if you see something, say something. If something unusual uh, uh, strikes you, do not be passive, but reach out to law enforcement. For those who have tickets to Super Bowl 56, authorities are asking you to anticipate Southland traffic and plan ahead for transportation and parking. There will be no additional parking available at the stadium, so your options are going to include shuttles, ride shares, metro, or walking. For those of you who do plan to take public transportation, the L.A. County Sheriff's Department says they will be increasing the number of deputies on the transit system throughout L.A. and surrounding counties. Reporting from downtown Los Angeles, Rachel Kim, KCAL 9 News. AFC champion Cincinnati Bengals have arrived in Southern California. You see that video there. <laughs> the team's charter touchdown around noon today. Susie at LAX. Yeah, players and staff then boarded buses and headed off to the team hotel. Now, ironically, the Bengals will be the home team during Sunday's game. Well, lots of work underway to get SoFi Stadium ready for its Super Bowl spotlight. SoFi looking good already, and we're told it will look even better come Sunday. Got an early look today at all the work being done.